Right, so now this is a review of the Coastal Force. So this is uh, Coastal Lura Company in northern Italy, in the town of Veneto, or city of Veneto. And it is in the sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe the, the sort of epicenter of the world of great boot manufacture, that sort of area. You know, you've got Perferia, you've got northern Italy, um, where else? Like they're producing some good boots out, out east there. Um, but yeah, like sort of northern Italy and sort of Germany, that seems to be the best place for making boots. But anyway, let's get on to it. So we've got the Vibram for a sole as always. Uh, most popular <laughs> outdoor sole ever invented. It's, it's a good wintry, grippy sort of a sole if you're sort of in the bush and that kind of stuff. Um, so the EVA midsole. So, you know, for recreational people, if you want the textile version, that's the one to get. So it's got a, the extra sole buffer cap as well as the extra buffer cap the manufacturer put on so it's not a full 360 degree rubber ran if you're getting into textile areas you're not getting into sort of high abrasion areas anyway if you want to protect the sewing just get a $20 tube of shoe goo and you've got five years of of uh, protection so if you're really a high abrasion area person with lots of wear time then that would be the way to go and protect that and it's better than having a 360 degree round it's if you put a 360 degree rand on there, honestly, it would probably cost another fifty dollars anyway, and you've got the unnecessary extra rand that you may not need. The uh, economy of having the the shigu, and you could put it over other areas of the boot as well, wherever you see wear, because it's not just these lower areas. You can have wear. It can be you might have gaiters or something like that. You want to protect your boot with. That's another great place for the USA made shigu. Okay, so. Uh, uh, the leather's a, a new book and it's 2.8 mil thick. It's got a small heel bend here. Um, textile, obviously, is said is for breathability. More breathability of holes here. A leather cuff. This is actually a high wear area which not many people realise. We see a lot of boots with material and they end up wearing out. Um, it's well connected here too as well. The sewing's not. It's not uh, exposed. Now I can't speak more highly of the, this company, I don't know why the hell it's not um, leading the world really. Um, anyway, Event Liner, 30k, reinforced one. Um, she's a light boot, usual lacing elements as well, no sort of gimmicky stuff in there. Uh, you know, if you want gimmicky stuff, go, go somewhere else, that's fine, but if you just want to lace up your boots, well, get on with it, you know. Um, yeah. So, nice comfortable boot. It's reasonably wide too. Now, they've also got the police version here, which has got a Kevlar shank in it, which is a, a thing for a police, so they don't get nails and sort of that sort of stuff going through the sole. Also, it's not a totally tactical kind of a sole. You know, some of these tactical ones that are sort of urban tactical, well, they're useless out in the rural areas. So, this has got a general purpose one, and it's good durable boots, so, you know, dog handlers and that sort of thing can can handle it with all their braking pressure and all that sort of stuff. Um, as I said, Kevlar Schenker here, yeah, that hasn't had uh, safety standard approving, but I'm approved yet, but I'm working on that one. And it's full grain leather, so you're going to get a nice polish on it. Uh, this is a sort of a felt textile. Uh, it's actually more durable. It looks like it's not, but it is. It's the latest sort of of the textiles to come out, so it's got a leather inner cuff, so again, the durability. All the sewing is is not exposed, you know, another feature, you know, this company is fantastic. And, you know, the event lineup. But this one here is a special uh, one. It's not as highly water uh, breathable as as the other one because it's also chemical resistant as well and bi biological resistant as well. So that's a bit more flexible than the, the other boots as you would expect. So you can run on those ones. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty ideal. It's probably got a bit more flex than the other boot that we've got. But so uh, I think they'd like that. Um, anyway, we'll sort it out. We'll see what they say.